welcome to Homosassa State Wildlife Park. We are in Homosassa, Florida. We're going to come to see some of these big beauties right here. Sea cows, also called manatees. We shouldn't see some in the spring area. So we're heading in and you're going to be able to see some wonderful wildlife in the state of Florida here in Homosassa Spring State Park. We are taking the boat in. Okay, we are on the pontoon boat getting ready right to head into um, the Gregory Albier Wildlife here Park. Here we go. So it looks like a discharge of six million gallons of fresh water per hour coming out of a large cave system. That water is over 100 years old. 99% here, you could break it at its source, fish bowl. Six if you look on both sides gallons, of the vessel, the bushes overhanging the water, that is the Florida wax myrtle. Six million gallons of drinkable water. doesn't look like water. much, but can you imagine Florida without bug spray? Well, Native Americans needed something. They took those wax myrtle leaves, mashed them up, made a paste, rubbed it all over their bodies, and that kept away the biting bugs. And the pioneers, they actually make candles out of the leaves. Now look straight ahead along the motel, those beautiful palm trees. That is our state of Florida tree. The sable palm. We also call it the cabbage palm because at the very top, at the heart of the palm, it's not the cabbage palm. <laughs> is a very tender, tasty area. Little guys found ways to escape. In fact, it's they would okay. actually swing out and jump down upon boats like ours. No kidding. Terrorizing the customers and raiding the boat. Taking their stuff and running back on the island with it. They kind of had a nice little stash going on there. Nothing important though. Just cameras, sunglasses, handbags, jewelry. So they had to relocate those little monkeys. To now we're going to head into the main part of the park and see some of the wildlife. Here we have Lou, the oldest hippo in the world at Homosassa Springs State Park. He's 66, so he surpassed the oldest hippo in the world was 66, so he's actually over 66 now. And uh, a few years ago, I came about four or five years ago, and I was surprised uh, Lou was still alive. But here, Lou, right there, you see, you see, right there, yeah. Lou, unbelievable. Here is the Lou Luli Putik, Luli Luli Poo, Lou 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 Lou, Lou Lou, Hi Lou. Look at Lou. Lou is moving around. I've never seen Lou move before. <gasps> it's beautiful. Gliding right along. They can hold their breath for quite a while. But I think Lou's going to be coming up for some air here in a minute. So you'll be able to see that. It's really cool. I think they spout it off almost like a, like a whale. Look at they got some birds right on, right on Lou. But Lou's, Lou's moving pretty good for a 66 year old, uh, oldest hippo. She's coming right up along. She's going to come up to her resting area and probably catch some air. Look at that beautiful hippo. Unbelievable. She's so old, she's got moss growing on her back. And old gray, oh, here she comes. There it is. Isn't that cool? That was cool. Lou! Big Lou! Big Lou! Big L! Big Lou! Oh! Wow, Lou! Thank you! Hopefully I'll get some more subscribers and views. <laughs> that was cool. Was that not cool? Did you get all that? She's a... Are you still here? Lou! Lou! You get a... No. That was freaking amazing. I had a conversation with the oldest freaking hippo in the world. Oh, wait. You coming back? 
This damn thing's gonna hold their breath like forever. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, she's crapping. Oh, shit. <laughs> Blood. Lou! <laughs> I've never seen it. Lou! How you doing? Oh, oh, oh. Lou, thank you for the talking to me, Lou. We're heading into the reptile exhibit here. Look at that size of that gator up there. Isn't that cool? And over here, we just saw some gopher tortoises. I said turtles earlier, but they're actually tortoises. And a burrowing owl in there. That little exhibit there. So we're heading in to see some reptiles like snakes and stuff. All stuff that is natural to the habitat of Florida. This is a Florida pine snake, if you can see it in there. Oh, yeah, he's right there. So this is the Florida water snake, cottonmouth. Uh, there's, this is the actual cottonmouth here that we have. Uh, we have a water snake, but this is the actual cottonmouth here. Very, very dangerous. Well, also known as the water moccasin. Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty cool. Look at those ones. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? How are you doing today? How are you doing? You're beautiful. Look at you. Look at you, gorgeous. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sexa pexa. Scott, look the, um, look at this. Oh, yeah. We have some feeding going on over here. Oh. Feeding a lot of different pelicans and some other birds as well. Girls. And this guy, he's just he's just supervising, making sure everybody gets their fair share. This guy right here. <laughs> he's like, I'm just gonna sit here and supervise. He's hawking. This this, this guy's like the boss. He's hawking. Expert thief? Expert thief? Yep. Sometimes they'll wait for it to throw it and they'll time it like when you're throwing and releasing it and they'll try and jab the fish right up and release it. Sometimes you get a hand and the fish. Wow. Very cool. I've never seen this kind of bird or a penguin. Okay, so here we have the red-tailed hawk, which we actually have one over by my house. And this one's a little bit larger because he's probably eating really good here. And uh, he's in the open pen because he's unable to fly. And over here, we have the crested caracara. And the, oh, <laughs> there he is. On cue, he's talking to you. So uh, yeah, all native to Florida, like I said earlier. But he's beautiful, that, that red-tailed hawk is beautiful. As well as you too, buddy. Yes, thank you, I'm sorry. I'm putting you second. You're more beautiful. Here we have the Florida bobcat. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Went around the side of the house there. See if I can get him in the back. No, looks like he might have been on the side. Here we have lots of vultures and a random pelican. Hey, buddy. Yeah, bunch of vultures around you kind of make you feel a little uneasy. 
We're now in the Florida panther exhibit. Okay. So the population of these panthers has gone up a little bit from about 100 to they say about 200 now. And uh, they're beautiful, beautiful animals. Supposedly the largest cat that still purrs. I'm not going to try and find that out and show you. They are very good hunters. But here at the Florida Panther exhibit, very cool. So here we have some spoonbill birds and a heron, blue heron, and the old pelican trying to soak up the camera here. And some more spoonbill birds back that way. We got a little random white bird with a black beak right there. I don't know exactly what he is yet. If I find out, I'll let you know. There's old Pelican flapping his wings like, hey, take a video of me, damn it. Yeah, look at me. Mm hmm. So, do they, this is the bear that comes to Mariana? Yeah. Everything in Florida here, this is all natural except the hippo. He's just having a good old time playing. He's biting his foot. His paw. We got him biting his paw. <laughs> here we have the American alligator. There's only one in here. He's, he's probably about five feet long. He's just sunbathing. And we see him all the time in the different rivers and lakes. And many times we've seen bigger. Here we have some pink flamingos along with a mix of vultures and some ibis which are down there and over here they're the ones making all the noise look at this one right here up and close and personal a long neck Here we have some owls. There's an owl in every single box on this side. Some of them are awake. He just turned his head away, camera shy. He's sleeping with one eye closed and one eye open. It was a minute ago. And then we got this guy on the end here. He was awake a minute ago, and he's like, it's nap time now. I know these owls. These are barn owls. Some beautiful barn owls here. And there's four, one for each box, but those two wanted to share a box, which leaves that box open. He's sleeping in the corner. And he's, looks like he's sleeping as well. There's a couple birds here and one over there. And these we see a lot when we're out on the boat. They have big beautiful nest. Big beautiful nest. I don't know for sure if they're ospreys or what, but there's no sign that says. But um, they're beautiful, beautiful birds. And they have big beautiful nests over the rivers and the lakes. Oh, they're talking. They're talking to each other. Here we have the great 
Here we have the great horned owl. He's just looking right at me. He's like, you look pretty tasty. If I could get you, I'd get you. He's pretty big. He's pretty good size. Horned owl. Here we have a resting fox squirrel, which are bigger than our regular gray squirrels. They're beautiful. He's just resting right there. And then down there, we got a gopher tortoise moving around a little bit. Here we have a here we have a couple of manatees just resting. There's an extremely large one on the left there. And we got one on the right. Oh, there's a smaller one over there in the corner I didn't see. And there's one down here. You can see, unfortunately, on the back of this one, it's got scars. And those scars are from boats hitting them with their propellers on their engines. And uh, sometimes they get hit pretty bad and, and pass away. Luckily, the, this one didn't. And he's been hit quite a few times, it looks like. But he healed up. He or she healed up. And in a lot of our waters, there's uh, no wake zones and slowdown zones for manatees that you got to be aware of. So we got some laws where you can go only really slow and, uh, and have to keep a lookout for manatees. So it's helped protect them and help boost up their numbers. We are headed into the underwater observatory here where we're going to go underneath and see some natural fish and maybe even some manatees. That was the tour of Homosassa Springs. I hope you enjoyed it. Parking is free. Uh, it was free for myself and one other person to get in. You uh, have the state card. If you have the state rec card, you can get that. Uh, you pay a yearly uh, disabled veteran, so I was able to get it for free, and it's good for all state parks. But I hope you really enjoyed the nature and everything that you saw in the freaking Big Lou. Big Lou. Big Lou spoke to me. That, that hippo hasn't done anything since I've been here, but sit in the water and Big Lou spoke to me when I went Big Lou! And you'll see it if you watch the whole video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, old gray, oh, here she comes. There it is. Isn't that cool? That was cool. Lou! Big Lou! Big Lou! Big L! Big Lou! <laughs> Hopefully I'll get some more subscribers and views. <laughs> that was cool. Was that not cool? Did you get all that? She's like, are you still here? Lou! Lou! You gonna